How's it going everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day because it is officially time to start my playthrough of Star Wars Jedi Survivor. I have been waiting for this game to come out for so long and the game is officially out now worldwide as of April 28th on Friday so I just can't wait to jump into this game. Overall I'm just very excited because Jedi Fallen Order was a fantastic game that I really liked and I played it for the first time just the other day for like the first time in three years. So overall, I'm just ready to hop into it and I'll f firstly say that they started with a nice cool little intro cutscene to kind of recap you of the events that happened in the first game. And granted, while I already remembered so much of what happened in that first game, it was kind of nice that they gave you a little refresher. And here on screen already, I can tell you right now, I love the main menu screen because it's kind of showing you the idea of what's going on in the galaxy right now. As you can see, that's the Jedi Temple with Imperial robes draped across it, which is kind of setting the tone as to where we are right now in the Star Wars universe, which is still controlled from the looks of it by the um, Imperials and the Empire. So that's basically setting up that we are still in the age of the Empire and that considering that this game takes place five years after Jedi Fallen Order, which with that game took place not that long after Order 66. It's kind of cool to see that we are still in that age. And of course, we will be fighting the Empire in this game as if, as has already been shown by the trailers and the footage. So honestly, guys, I'm just ready to jump right into it with you guys. So let's do it. Arachnophobia safe mode. <laughs> That is that is an interesting setting. Modifies a creature to make it less reminiscent of an arachnid. Huh. Uh, I mean, I'm not going to turn that on, but that's kind of an interesting setting to turn on for people who don't like spiders, which I guess we're going to be fighting some spider-like creatures. And then there it is, human dismemberment. So they have added this into the game. So enables human enemies to be dismembered in gameplay does not affect cutscenes. Um, I'm going to keep that on. Um, again, that was, that's, that's a thing, that's a setting that's not really reliant on how I feel about the game. I could take it or leave it, honestly, to be honest with you. So, it's kind of cool that they have settings in there anyway from the beginning. I mean, most video games already have the graphic content question that they give you at the beginning. Like, even in the original Call of Duty games, for example, you already had a setting like that. So, I expected that would probably be there in the first place. I do like that there are many different difficulties, as we can see right now. So, Obviously, the story mode, as usual, Padawan, Jedi Knight, Jedi Master, and Grandmaster. It's cool that they have this many different types of difficulty. I think lots of games should have this. And for me, granted, as much as I want to focus on the story of this game, I do would I would like to see that there'd be some challenge. So I'm actually going to go with... Uh, I'm going to go with Jedi Knight for this one. Just because. I do want a little difficulty, but I do also want to focus on the story as well. Hey, there's our boy. All bearded up too with the facial hair. You love to see it. This is a very interesting start. So, he looks like he's been captured and he's on Coruscant, but who are these people? These are interesting looking folks that have gotten him tangled up. This is very cool. So, it looks like we are in the underbelly of Coruscant, in the lower levels, which is an area of Coruscant that doesn't really get explored a whole lot in Star Wars, so... I'm really interested to see what's down here for him. Damn. Alright, calm down there. Typical Empire. Oh, there he is. That's the Powin villain. For those of you who don't know that species, um, in Revenge of the Sith, when Obi-Wan goes to Utapau um, to start his side of the battle of the war when he fights General Grievous, the people he comes across when he first arrives, those are Powans. Oh! Good to see a K2S droid again. Very interesting looking K2 model. If that's a baton on his leg, that's a giant ass baton. Ooh, interesting look. This guy is big too. My god. But in there, I have other tools at my disposal. Or maybe I'll just use this. Master's lightsaber. Haha, <laughs> he's not even he's not even phased by that. Did you 
really think you could capture me? Oh shit, here we go. Military intel stored on your yacht. And she just brought it right to me. Thanks, BD. Good to see BD again. You burn for this. That's mine. Hell yeah, let's do this, baby. Oh, there it is. There's this dismemberment. Oh, okay. That yeah, that's that's cool. Oh, it's good to see this gameplay again. Haha, -ha, yeah. Oh, that's cool. Dude, I love how we're just jumping right into the action. Like, this is actually pretty nice of a start. Good to see the Uncharted game mechanics of gameplay coming back into play with this. That's always one of the funnest parts about Jedi Fallen Order that I loved when I played that game. Uh, Stormtroopers. Oh, t <laughs> I, was, I was just about to say they were bad shots, but hey, they actually hit one. Krites are back again, and what did we get from this one? Emitter. Patience. Cool. So it looks like, yeah, they're bringing back crates again for customization and all that, which is which is fine, honestly. I kind of like that. I like that story games... I, I like when story games do that kind of thing. They allow you to customize everything that you do. I just want to take in... I, I know we're in the middle of a mission right now, and my boy over there on the yacht is just currently chilling and waiting, but I just want to take a second to admire, like, look at this. This looks so good. Like, the underneath levels of Coruscant just look so well designed and I love that they are putting this game on Coruscant as well because Star Wars as a whole just needs more exploration of Coruscant so this is really good I really like how they designed this whole thing and also just to be clear right now I am not currently having any performance issues at the moment as I am playing on the Xbox Series S and from what I know the game as of right now for a lot of people mainly PC players is having a lot of issues so i do feel bad for all those people who are currently playing on pc i hope that gets sorted out very soon but overall for me as an xbox player i am having a fine time so far and actually as it stands right now i think i'm going to end that off right there for the first video of my star wars jedi survivor playthrough granted I'm not going to be one of those people who just, like, uploads an entire hour-long playthrough like so many other different YouTube channels do. Honestly, I don't think that would work well for a small channel like mine, so that's why I'm just going to cut this little start up in little bits and pieces and kind of edit, edit it down to a much smaller video. And honestly, I think that would work better for me. So, I hope you guys did enjoy this video as, like, a kind of start again, on this journey with Jedi Survivor. I hope to do a lot more videos around this game as we go through its playthrough, and so far, with the start that we have here for this game, I think that's a really damn good start from what I've seen already, so I'm excited to get into it a lot more, and I will see you guys all in the next video. May the Force be with you.